I did not sexually abuse my kids. You're, you're still maintaining your, your innocence? Yes, sir. I love them. And I'm glad they're in a better place than what I could have provided. A declaration of love but no admission of guilt from a convicted child predator sentenced to life without parole. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Daryl Frank. And I'm Lauren Linville. The jury in the Michael Corey trial returned two life sentences without the possibility of parole after he was found guilty of about two dozen child sex crimes. Curtis Jackson has been covering this trial for us and he spoke with Corey after sentencing. Well, when the judge read his punishment, Michael Corey showed no emotion, and as you saw at the top of the newscast, he said that he loved his children but denied their stories that he inappropriately touched them and made the two girls and a boy perform, perform sex acts with him as the children said. Corey received two life sentences for continuous sexual abuse and 50 years for aggravated sexual assault from a jury of eight women and four men who deliberated about four hours today. 30th District Judge Jeff McKnight also approved a request from the DA's office to have the sentences stacked. Even without the life and 50 years sentences, Corey would have 275 years to serve for the 21 other lesser charges. Yesterday, he was found guilty for sex crimes involving his children, who are 8, 10, and 11, when the abuse occurred from 2015 to 2016. In Wichita County District Attorney John Gillespie described the nightmare the children were living in during his closing arguments. He says this sentence sends a strong message to those looking to prey on young children. I very much applaud them for giving those uh, two life without parole sentences and the, the 275 years on top of that. It says these children's lives mattered and that the actions that this defendant took in torturing them and sexually abusing them over and over and over, um, our community will not stand for. So I very much ap ap appreciate this sentence. Now, during the trial, defense attorney Mark Barber gave jurors num numerous motives and reasons the three children might not have been truthful, including that they hated Corey and wanted to live with their mom and would say anything to get out of his house. Now, previous to this conviction, Corey was given probation for physical abuse of the children, which included beatings with a paddle wrapped with zip ties. Okay, okay, Curtis, thank you so much. Well, last week, Corey was assaulted by inmates after stories on his trial aired. Wichita County Sheriff David Duke says the assault happened just after Corey was taken back to his cell block, which houses major felony inmates. From video that was reviewed, it appeared three other inmates were involved and that Corey was struck more than 15 times.